everybody. I just wanted to make a video because I finished <gasps> Awaken, which is glaring word. There you go. Awaken by Katie Kavinsky. Um, and let me read the fluff you before I forget. Back. And Rylan will be right back. <laughs> Maddie lives in a world where everything is done on the computer. Mommy. Whether going to school or on a date, no one ever leaves home. There's... <laughs> There's really no need. And for the most part, Maddie's okay with the solitary digital life. Until she meets Justin. Justin likes being with people. He likes physical closeness and face-to-face -face conversations. People aren't meant to be alone, he tells her. Maddie is beginning to believe him. Maybe there is a different, better way to live. And perhaps Justin will be the one to help her start living it. In her dazzling debut, Katie Kavinsky creates a world not much different from ours and examples, examines what it means to be a human and a teenager in these changing times. So, I love the concept of this book. I mean, forget 50 years into the future. This, this is happening a lot right now with people that I know. Even myself, like, I get caught up, like, using my phone all the time and checking Facebook, you know, the digital refrigerator door, you know, you keep opening it and closing it and opening it Mom, again. Well, I just when I come with you when you would know how it expecting there to be something be different like there, but there never like is, you know, it's all the same. Um I know I'm not the only one that does that. Um I even have a community of mom friends that I met online that I talk to every day that I consider yeah, my friends. Yeah, I so it's not pizza. it's not a crazy concept to imagine this world. But huh? You know, and it makes what? me sad when I think of a world like that where nobody ever leaves and they just do everything online. But I could go on and on talking about how frustrating it is, but Katie Kavinsky did that for me. Um, she she described it in a way that's totally believable. Uh, I know some people on Goodreads had some problems with the technical side of it, but, you know, it's fiction, guys. Come on. It's, it's fiction. Get over it. Get over yourself. Anyhow... Um, the book for me was broken up in two parts. There was part one, which was a really eye-opening, like, view of the future and how it could be, um, at the rate we're going, and honestly, I don't see it really going any other way, um, you know, and it was kind of refreshing, like a girl who kind of discovers that maybe this isn't the best way to live, and maybe they're... Maybe I can go out in the world once in a while. Like, it's not, it's not like the air is bad or anything like that. I mean, people just don't go outside. So she's like, oh, hey, maybe I can. Maybe it's okay. And, you know, she finds... Sorry, my son is acting crazy. Anyway, um, it's, it's not too crazy to do that. And I can, I can still do it. And she meets people. And she's like, oh, this is kind of cool. So that's part one, and part one had promise, and part one had me intrigued and brought me in. There was even some really quotable lines in it that I highlighted for myself for later. Um, but part two was about a lovesick puppy who lost all, all of herself when she meets this boy who tells her, No, don't fall for me. Just keep your distance. I'm dangerous. And it sounds like I'm describing New Moon, but sadly I'm not. I'm describing Awaken. And it... It was like, the love scenes were annoying, there really wasn't anything drawing these characters together, she was just like, oh, he's so cute, and, you know, I, I can feel him, he's real, and he likes to be with me, and so, who am I? I'm no one except for the person that follows this boy everywhere. And even when she can't follow him, she just wallows around and mopes. And it actually made me want to say a public, an public service announcement, which goes like this. Ladies, just because he's cute and rebellious and pays a little bit of attention to you, it does not mean that you need to lose yourself and your, your views and your interests and just be whoever you think that they no want you to be. You can, no you know, you don't need to spend every second thinking about this boy. You don't need to follow him everywhere and miss him all the time. You can be your own hero. Learn to fend for yourself. Learn to have interests and friends. 
Um, okay, that's it. I'm done with that. Um, three stars for the concept, for the idea of the book, because I loved it. The idea of it. But two stars for the actual making it happen. So, it wasn't very good. Um, in my opinion. My opinion. Um, so this is the cover again, in case you're wondering. Um, and I don't really... Here you go. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to read next. I think I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and kind of scope it out because I'm looking at my bookshelves and I'm like, mm, nothing I really want to read. So if you have any suggestions, by all means, please comment below what you want, what you want me to review or what you think I should review or what you think I'd like. Um, I love dystopians. Oh, good ones. Better than this one. Sorry. Um... Uh, yeah, so just let me know what you think, and I love you all, I hope you're having a good day, week, vacation, I'm on vacation, you're not, probably not on vacation, but, uh, well, I love you, and, um, thanks for watching, <laughs> talk to you guys later, bye, say bye, Ryland. Bye, Ryland. <laughs>